Welcome to another Choose a Career segment. Today I'm here with Tyron and uh, TMMT Appliance Repair. And this just happens to be the guy who repairs my appliances whenever I need it. Uh, tell us a little bit about the business and how you got started. All right, uh, we've been in business uh, maybe three years and two months. Uh, the way I got started in the business is um, I went to Mississippi Delta Community College in Moorhead, Mississippi for the two-year HVAC trade. Uh, completed that trade. Uh, Sears hired me on as a HVAC technician. Uh, once I got out of school, sent me to training in Chicago. And then in Chicago, they needed a appliance technician. And they seen that I was very skillful. That's when I got into the appliance field. Uh, field. And once I got in the appliance field, I say, hey, I kind of like this. I don't have to be on the outside. Uh, the money was the same, so I decided to give it a shot. And lo and behold, that was my passion. And once I started working on it, uh, never stopped. I've uh, been working on appliances since 06 until now. So uh, I eat sleep appliances. So tell us a little bit about creating your own business out of this, because there's, that's a whole nother side of what you're doing. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, the way I actually got started in business is um, I was working for this company and doing all the work. I, That's I was, right. Yeah, I was the sole, <laughs> I was the brains of the operation. Uh, but at the time, um, they didn't understand, uh, you know, the people behind the desk and everything. Right. They just didn't understand uh, what was really going on. And they wanted me to drive head on a call for two, a uh, two hour call in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And oh my goodness. I told them uh, how far it was from South Haven and uh, they said I had to go and I told them I wasn't able to go. So, uh, Chattanooga? Yes, sir. And so they <laughs> From said, DeSoto County? Yes, sir. There's not another, there's not another appliance person between here and Chattanooga that can go on that call? Like that's insane. Yes, so they end up writing me up and I got a little upset. Peace out. And I've been planning on going in bitch for maybe 10 years so I wrote everything down that I would like to accomplish yep. and it ended up coming to fruitation a little sooner than I expected right. when the job uh, wrote me up and I got upset so I ended up getting me a LLC yep. which is free uh, got me a Don's number which is free uh, got me a website got me a Google listens a Yelp listens a yellow page listen and Got a social media page, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, uh, did everything that uh, I thought, you know, that was on my list that a lot of people told me that was uh, irrelevant, but uh, it, it turns helped. out, it turns out, and we didn't, right now we're probably number one and number two in DeSoto County. Absolutely you so, are. Uh, the way I found you is I Googled appliance repair man. You were the first one to come up. Oh yes. Sir. And then boom. And, we, and you've been my guy ever since. So everything worked, kind of worked out the way Absolutely. I have. Uh, we're kind of a small company right now, but we're, we have more work than we can handle. Right now we only have two technicians, uh, one office personnel, and then we got the operation manager. He handles everything, and I handle all the technicians. Right, so I'm not the hands-on person. Let's right, handle that so part. He. Now, here's the thing I've always been curious about. First of all, it's a great field to be in because everybody's appliances are going to need fixed. There's no computer that's going to take your job because you have they have to physically repair all of these appliances whenever they break. Yes, sir, and that, that is definitely correct. Uh, with all the computer uh, appliances now are being computerized. And so now you can either hook up your tablet or your phone and get a, you can diagnose the unit without breaking it down and everything. And it didn't save me tremendous time. And I'm kind of very excited uh, how the appliance industry are going for its technology. 
Right. But it's job security for it's sure. Job security. And for, for, sure. for students who are watching, they, I mean, that's definitely something to consider when choosing a field today is something that you know people are going to need their appliances fixed. And people aren't buying less appliances. If anything, we're buying more. Now, one thing that's always I've been curious about is there are hundreds of different appliances and you have to kind of know how to fix each one. You're going to go into one lady's house and she's going to have something from 25 years ago. You're going to go into somebody else's house and they have something shiny from six months ago. Yes, sir. They all work a little differently. Yes, sir. And so do you constantly train? How do, how do you stay on top of that? Uh, it's continuous training. Uh, we partner with uh, a couple of the large manufacturers. And so every six months, uh, they offer technician training where uh, they training free. Uh, like say, Samsung, uh, Medea, mm -hmm. uh, they offer free training. So you can all, uh, always keep your technicians up to date on all the newer stuff. And also we have a weekly training with just the technicians where we just take old appliances and you know just to stay on top of everything to make sure everybody's on the same level that's awesome some of that training's done virtually some of it's done in person yes sir yes sir we have uh, every two weeks we'll have in person but once a week we have a zoom meeting where uh we'll take these particular appliances and we'll go over and make sure all the guys are on top of it, all the possible problems that we can have because we try to uh, give each customer a lot of time, an hour on a call. So if you say you there 30 minutes and you don't have a clue, reach out to someone. That right. way we can stay on top of it. Right. All right. Personal question. Yes, sir. The appliance that tends to break the most in the house. Which appliance is it, is it that you end up having to work on the most? Well, It's got to be the dishwasher, man. Seems like the dishwashers always go out. Yeah, well, uh, it, it may be the dishwasher, but sometimes people don't consider the dishwasher like a real necessity. Right. So I would probably go with the refrigerator because as soon as that refrigerator goes out, that call's uh, happening immediately. That call happening immediately, <laughs> and they want someone out immediately. And so, what, how we normally do it, we consider refrigerators, freezer, ice machines, kind of like a top priority. Top priority. So, we'll, most of the time, we get you scheduled the same day if it's the refrigerator or if it's something leaking. Okay. Now, you uh, do offer internships in the summer and uh, you have job openings in the future. How can students apply or find you if they're interested in maybe looking at working for your company? All right, uh, from time to time, we run uh, job postings on Indeed. Okay. Uh, I post jobs on Facebook, and you can also go on the website. Uh, sometimes uh, when a job comes available, they'll post it on the website. Also. Okay. So you can follow you any of those ways? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we're on all the social media platforms from Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. We're on all social media platforms, and it's TMMT Appliance Repair. Awesome. Yes, sir. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Oh, yes, sir. And thank you, Mr. Lewis, for having us, and it's a pleasure. Absolutely. Seeing you.